How did things get like this? I don't even know if this message will get to you. If I'd known it would end like this, I wouldn't have come here. Oh, oh damn it, damn it, damn it! Oh, cover for me, Jess. I don't expect you to understand. Everything I've done was for you guys. I know. Excuses mean nothing now. I've never doubted myself or thought I could fail. Same for this job. I would do anything to be back home. Anything. We would like to offer you a choice. Would you like to go home empty-handed? I have no regrets. I will always make the same decision. I will always provide for my family. No matter what. Trust no one. Hi. I'm Kirsten Swan, Space Frontier Operator. You probably don't want to go overtime here. I certainly don't. So let's get started with Space Frontier 101. I've set up this area to simulate the mission environment. First things first. You can check your health and oxygen level on your info. If your health reaches zero, you'll be knocked out. Or under some circumstances, die. You can also check your oxygen level and the number of oxygen. Once an oxygen can is used, it is discarded automatically. So don't bother finding used up cans to throw away and make space in your inventory. Okay, you don't want to suffocate to death. So hurry on and fix the oxygen supply system before you use up all oxygen you have. Go through the door to repair it. To fix the oxygen supply system, you need to repair all faulty oxygen generators. You can repair an oxygen generator by aligning the needles inside the glowing zone for each of the three scales. done. Now let's go on to the next room and restore power by using the power supply device. Once you're on the site, there's no guarantee that power is being supplied without problems. Keep that in mind, you're gonna need the power restored to complete your mission. You may need to repair external power sources in some situations, but for now, let's just bring the power back online. When power is restored, it'll speed up the energy cube destruction process. You also need power to activate the space shuttle launcher for the final extraction. Now, let's look for a keycard. Move to the next room and you'll find a dummy body you can examine. You just picked up a mission keycard. You'll need to find all mission keycards for any Frontier mission. By the way, while you hold a vital mission item, it'll draw a guided path to where it can be used. But it'll also expose you with a highlighted glow, meaning that the trader will be able to see you wherever you are, so keep that in mind. Now, go to the next room and retrieve the energy cube. You can use your Avtor to override certain locks or gates. You know, the multi-purpose device we basically provide for Frontier missions? 
You'll have to hack the transmitter with the right key card in order to disconnect the energy cube for this safe removal. Take long. Press the button when the progress bar is at the red scale, and your avatar will do the rest. You'll still be visible to others while you're working on it, so be aware of your surroundings. hack the transmitter, you can safely remove the energy cube and the keystone inside it. Remember, keystones are what the trader is after. When all energy cubes are pulled out of the transmitters, a self-destruct sequence is activated. It's a training session right now, so... Oh, great! Just what we needed! A hallway filled with toxic gas. How delightful! That's toxic keystone gas. It's lethal enough to put down any living person within seconds. Don't worry though, you can usually find a valve nearby these leaks to close them off. Let's take care of that before we move on. Where was I? Oh, yes. Your main objective is to destroy all the energy cubes within the space station and escape. Pick the energy cube back up and follow the guided path that leads you to its designated destructor. In order to operate a destructor, you'll need to have an energy cube or any required parts that is missing. First, select a component to work with. The destructor will start the packaging process automatically. <sighs> Find the ones that are turning yellow, move the stabilizer to that section, and press the button. You'll be vulnerable to any stealth attacks, so try to do a good job while you're at it to save time and yourself. <laughs> destroy an energy cube, you'll need to go through this process with all four components. The energy cube, a battery, a carbon fiber, and a sensor. Thanks to your great work, we just need one last part. There's a room next door you haven't checked yet. Take a look there. You'll come across cabinets in mission areas you're assigned to. The cabinets are likely to store parts or items you'll need for the mission, so there's no harm in searching them. Now that you have the last part you needed, let's go back to the destructor and finish it up. Okay, all good to go. Go on to activate the shuttle launcher now. Even while you're activating the launcher, the trader can still try and escape using an escape pod. But if you manage to finish the activation before the trader can escape, Blaming will probably just cut the trader loose and get rid of them. the shuttle to officially finish the basic frontier training program so we can call it a day.
Like usual, you can start off by examining some dead bodies to find anything useful. Oh, and by the way, Frontier Regulation Number 2. Anything you collect during the mission is yours to keep. What do we have here? Time to juice up.
Here we go. Should speed up the energy cube destruction process. I'll update it as your next mission. <laughs> 